We're in the, uh, my kitchen here at the uh, Cellar House Park Hotel and I'm joined by a very good, very good friend of mine, Mr. Steve Hallett of, oh. Raven, of Ravenglass Fish fame. Oh, yeah. Rumour I heard that you're actually a uh, baker. Yeah. yeah, I am a baker by trade. <laughs> Did that for quite a long time down in Liverpool. Uh, then I started volunteering on the Ravenglass Nestel Railway uh, in the late 80s. Enjoyed it that much and decided to move up here and that was that. A lot of talk, especially recently, in the uh, in the newspapers and in the media and all the rest of it, about there's a, a lack of fish in the um, in the sea. I'm not we're not going to get too um, too involved in it, but you speak to the fishermen yeah. and you go to the markets. You yeah. see what's out there. So what's your opinion? Well, it's quite simple, really. The only time there isn't any fish on the market is when the weather's lousy. There's no shortage of fish out there whatsoever. He's brought a fantastic selection along with him today. Steve, if you'd just like to, would you like to just run through with us what you've what you've bought for us for today? Okie dokie. Well, to start with, we've got a lovely piece of monkfish. Place, lemon sole, Dover sole, nice wild bass. Underrated fish, a nice bit of gurnard. And then we've got some hake, mussels, and my own hot, twice smoked hot salmon. This is a sea bass. Probably what people don't realise is that for a sea bass to, um, to reach this size, this has had to live in the sea somewhere between, Steve, what, six, seven years? This is probably a six or seven year old sea bass. Yeah. It takes time for these. Uh, for these wonderful fish to get to get to this size, there's lots of different things about fish that people don't realise. Although they, you know, they'll they'll probably uh, notice the price or they'll notice them in the supermarkets. But a wonderful sea bass like that, six or seven years old. Just to run through this for you, we've got some uh, fantastic. This is a this is a Dover sole, um, and that's about the right size for a, for a portion sea, isn't it? Any, yeah. To be honest, any. Any bigger than that, yeah. and uh, they tend to lose a lot of the flavour. So that's that's about a perfect. Uh, what about pound. just over a pound? Yeah, pound, yeah. just over a pound, Steve. Yeah. So that's a Dover sole, beautiful lemon sole. And what's what sort of prices are these coming in, Steve? Not too bad at the moment. That's a whole fish. You get them for about four pound each. Like, ah, okay. So so about four. That's about four pounds each. By the time you've taken the fillets off, you'll get a good two two meals out of that. So four pounds for two people. It's not it's not it's not bad. It's not bad, mate. Is it? Now this wonderful looking fish, you may not think so, but this is a wonderful, to, to a chef this is a wonderful looking fish, is a gurnard. 10, 15 years ago, the only thing that these poor little devils were ever used for was for bait, for bait in yeah. lobster and crab pots. And it was all that you ever, you ever used these uh, great things for. But they're a fantastic, they're a fantastic fish, fantastic flavour. Um, again, take the fillets off, just simply pan fry them with some olive oil, butter, touch of lemon juice, and um, sit it on some lovely uh, confit down um, potatoes with a little bit of garlic. Uh, Conf that's mashed to you. That's right? that's yeah. Very confit is uh, very slow um, sort of lapsed into my uh, mashed potato. It, it, yeah, or mashed potato, as Steve calls it. Um, uh, it, it. Absolutely, a really really underrated fish. I love these. Little place, I like place. Nice and sweet. Yeah, nice and sweet. And just again, just about the right size. Um, if you remember back to the 80s, the place used to take the fillets off and um, in a basket. In a basket, bread, basket. bread crumb, tartar sauce, and in a basket. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and what are you going to tell us about this, Steve? Well, that's a bigger place. This, this is a slightly bigger than this one. As you can see, the markings are totally different. And they'll change because they live on the bottom. As you can see, the flatfish because they live on the bottom, they will change their kind of uh, colourings and markings. To, and it depends on the depth yeah, of water. And, and, depend, and like Steve says, also depending on the depth of the water as well. Uh, so there you go. So that is that is a slightly slightly more than a two portion size. Well, maybe a two portion for that's me a, and you. It's maybe a family, family meal. That's a, that's a family. That's a family meal. Well, thanks, Steve. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much for uh, bringing this some stunning fish today. Thank you very much, and I hope you've uh, hope everybody's enjoyed it. And thank you very much. Mm -hmm.